It's Chippy with UMPCPortal.com. On Saturday, I go to CBIT in Hanover, and as part of the sort of, sort of CBIT tour, what I'm planning on doing is, uh, is taking another Ultramobile reporting kit. Um, so this is the sort of setup I was uh, thinking about. Uh, Logilink, Bluetooth keyboard, generic stand, and the Asus VivoTab Note 8. Uh, the reason for the Note 8, and not one of the others I've got, is that um, this charges pretty well from USB chargers at uh, 1.2 uh, amps it charges fairly quickly and the others don't seem to do that so that's quite an advantage if uh, if you're going uh, mobile now um, the problem is this is uh, quite a heavy keyboard it's Logilink Bluetooth it's well priced it's about 20 20 dollars I think and um, the keys are okay but it's just just too heavy so what I've done is I've been out and bought the Microsoft Wedge mobile keyboard which is smaller, lighter, and also has an integrated stand. So let's just take a closer look at the Wedge mobile uh, keyboard. Now this is not a cheap keyboard, and I've paid uh, just paid 60 euros for this. And it's even a German keyboard, and I'm typing in English, so I think I'll sell this one afterwards, and if it's good, I'll get a an English one. Now, it's a really nicely designed bit of kit, and, and to me, the... The feature was not just that it has very nice uh, keys, but oh, they even include Duracell batteries. That's a good sign. If you go under here, you'll find this is really nice packaging, by the way. Um, the case for it. Now this doubles up as a tablet stand. So let me just take this box out of the way, and hopefully I can just plop that in there like that. Probably just have to... There you go. So what you've got now is um, a quite lightweight integrated keyboard with keyboard case and stand, which is really perfect for these devices. Now then, where do you put the batteries in? I guess it's going to be somewhere in here. Ah, oh, nice. Well designed this actually. Very well designed. So let's uh, slot this in somehow. One, two... Let's see if it's easy to set up. So it blinked. It's blinking. Maybe it's uh, hey, it's there. Keyboard to pair, pair, and I guess ah, oh, here we go. Five, two, nine, seven, three, zero. Oh. oh, type. Oh, there you go. I think it's done. Yes, it's working. So there you go. Right, let's go for a notepad. Whoops. Notepad. Uh, this is a test of the Microsoft uh, Wedge keyboard. Now, it's got uh, all the rows you need. The Merricks are there. It's um, large size keys. Uh, function keys are there, but they're actually reversed so that you get uh, primary there you go, there's the volume. Uh, maybe we can do, oh wow, there's even a um, share button there, devices button there, and a settings button there. That's really nice. And of course, uh, play, pause, we've got volume up and down. Is there a brightness? There doesn't seem to be a brightness. There's a, uh... yeah. The keyboard's really nice. So the only thing about this, if you're used to kind of island style keys with the spaces in between, this one isn't, but the keys are actually slightly bigger because they're pushed together. So it's kind of going to be getting used to that sort of pre-island styling before um, before I go to see. But I think it's going to be okay though. So um, that should work in uh, both, yeah, portrait and landscape. I'll probably use in portrait for typing. I think that brings it up to the eyes a little bit uh, a little bit better. Not sure what the battery life will be. Let's just pop that. I think it goes this way, like that. It's really nice rubberized finish. There you go. Nice cover. Oh, it's 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 a little bit. Um, well, it's not super super lightweight. If I bring in my old favourite, which is a USB Samsung keyboard, which even even has a mouse pointer in the middle. Uh, it was a USB based device. That's about 95 grams. This is probably 200 grams, maybe, yeah, double the weight of that. 
So with that, with the tablet, which weighs, uh, what is that, 400 grams, which should be 100 kilo. With the Lumia here, we should be um, also under a kilo. And uh, I think I probably have to take a USB cable as well. Maybe a battery pack. We're getting about six hours out of this every day at the moment. Um, and uh, yeah, maybe a battery pack. Hopefully it will all fit in under a key, uh, kilo. So I probably won't use this every day at CBIT, but uh, one or two days, I'm gonna test this out for you and uh, I'll let you know how it goes. Now, the reason I'm doing it is not just because people have been asking, it's also because I'm playing on a solar powered mobile PC tour later this year. And I've been testing this with a four watt panel and um, a power pack and it seems to work really well. I might even take that to CBIT next week because the sun looks like it might shine this weekend and uh, most of next week so we can do some good testing. So that's it, that's the Microsoft uh, Wedge keyboard, Bluetooth, it's expensive, but it's nice and it comes with this really, really great integrated stand. There you go. My name's Chippy, umpcportal.com is where we're covering the eight inch and 10 inch Windows 8, 8.1. 8.1 update, spring update, 9, whatever you want to call it, tablets. And uh, you'll see us there. Also at ultrabooknews.com where we're kind of covering the leading edge uh, laptops as well. Stay tuned to this channel. Like it if you like it. Subscribe if you want to get notified of more videos. Thanks for watching.